there, kids. It's time for today's shared reading. And today we're going to be reading another farm book. Today's story is called My Little Rooster. It is a story and a poem and a song. So you might be familiar with this. You may have heard this as a song before. This is a realistic fiction book, which means it didn't really happen, but it could happen. So realistic means it's like real life, but fiction means it didn't really happen. It's not real or true. So we're going to read the story today, My Little Rooster, adapted by Adam Habib, illustrated by Hannah George. Adapted by means that he changed it. So the author of this particular book didn't make the words up in their own in his own head. He didn't write this originally, but he knew the song or the poem and he changed it to make it um, his own version. All right, so if we look on the front cover and we know that the title is My Little Rooster, we can guess that the story is gonna be about what animal? A rooster, and is a rooster a boy or a girl? A rooster is a boy. Very good. And this is Dan. Can you see his name on his hat? It says D-A-N, Dan. My Little Rooster, adapted by Adam Habib, illustrated by Hannah George. a little rooster at the barnyard gate and that little rooster was my playmate. Do you hear the rhyming words with gate and mate? And my little rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo, dee-doodle, 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 dee-doo. So here's the barnyard gate. Here's the rooster and he's saying cock-a-doodle-doo, and you can see the little black lines, means that the rooster is shouting. I had a little cat by the barnyard gate, and that little cat was my playmate. And my little cat went meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo, dee-doodle-dee, doodle-dee, doodle-dee-doo. Okay, we see another animal joining. What animal do you predict will be next? We have a rooster and a cat. Who's his next playmate going to be? See the dog? I had a little dog by the barnyard gate, and that little dog was my playmate. And my little dog went woof, woof, woof. Do you think you can remember some of this with me? And my little cat went meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo. Dee doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee do. What do you think the next animal's going to be? I see this animal. You ready? Do you think you can say this with me? I had a little pig by the barnyard gate. And that little pig was my playmate. And my little pig went oink, oink, oink. Okay, now we're going to go the dog. And my little dog went woof, woof, woof. And my little cat went meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster went 
cock a doodle do. Dee doodle dee doodle dee doodle dee do. I had a little hen by the barnyard gate, and that little hen was my playmate. And my little hen went cluck, cluck, cluck. Okay, and the pig. And my little pig went oink, oink, oink. And my little dog went quack. Oh, sorry, not quack. <laughs> my little dog went woof, woof, woof. And my little cat went meow, meow, meow. And my little rooster went cock-a-doodle-doo. Dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. -doodle -dee -doodle -dee -doo. So, boys and girls, in our story, we repeated the same sentences over and over again. We just added new animals and their sounds. So, what animal... And sound would you add to this book? I think you know what I would add. I already said quack on accident. So if this, if I could add a page to this book, I would add a duck as my playmate. And that little duck would say quack, quack, quack. What animal would you choose to add that's not already in the book? And what noise or sound does that animal make? I hope you enjoyed this story and you're able to think of some other farm animals and the sounds that they make so you could add some pages to your own book in your head. All right. Thanks, boys and girls. Have a great day.